A specimen of kidney from a monkey. You can see the cut surfaces here where a razor blade or some sharp instrument cut the specimen here and here and here and across the bottom here. The rounded surfaces would be the uh, normal surfaces of the kidney. This would be the outside here where there would be a capsule and this is deep inside the kidney. And this space is where the urine is collected. If we turn on the annotation for this particular uh, level of magnification, you can see the kidney is divided into a cortex, medulla, and then of course the pelvis. Notice the different in, difference in staining uh, characteristic and intensity between the cortex and the medulla. There are many more uh, cells here that are eosinophilic than here. There are many more nuclei and they're closer together in the medulla and that's why you see a more reddish stain in the cortex and a more uh, bluish stain in the medulla. Let's go to the next annotation where we can see some detail in the cortex. This is a medullary ray and this is a medullary ray. These are tubules that are straight and they connect to the medulla. And in between is the cortical labyrinth. And that is where you find the glomeruli and the proximal and distal convoluted tubules. Over here you find the straight tubules. So this is a medullary ray and this is a medullary ray. A medullary ray actually forms the, uh, the, the midpoint or the middle of a kidney lobule and the glomeruli that are halfway between this medullary ray and this one, uh, those between where I'm drawing and over here would form uh, one part of a kidney lobule and on the other side would form the other part of a kidney lobule. Okay, and, uh, <clears throat> and this is a, a vessel. Uh, here is a uh, arcuate vein. If we were to be able to see um, at a different level in this same region, we would see the arcuate artery. The arcuate vein collects blood from the cortex and the medulla, and the arcuate artery provides blood flow to the cortex and to the medulla. If we re uh, hide those annotations, then perhaps you can see the straight forming uh, tubules here and then the cortical labyrinth. If we magnify this then you can see here these tubules are more are straight. Those are in the medullary ray and here are straight tubules here. But between you have a labyrinth and is composed of proximal and distal, distal tubules that are very convoluted. That is why they're called proximal and distal convoluted tubules. Let's uh, now go to uh, the next uh, annotation where we will see even more detail in the, in the cortex.